Next, we are going to be linking our divs and our HTML with specific sections in the CSS. To do this, you first need to ensure that the div IDs in the HTML are clear. If they are not, go back and look at them and edit them to reflect the workbook. You are going to be making different sections for each div ID and each heading type. Follow the instructions in the workbook to insert a body, section 1, section 2, section 3, section 4, navigation bar, image 1, image 2, image 3, and then h1, h2, and h3. The first group of these refer to different div IDs you should have put into your website, and the second slot refer to different headings that you have put into your website. Once you've finished, make sure you save your code. 